Okay, uh, my name is Ron Roskins, and I worked on the documentation this week. So I've I've restructured the installation guide around a little bit more, and this time instead of bundled uh, high-level sections, where we'll describe how to install OpenMS and then describe how to do that for Red Hat, for Debian, and then for Windows systems, I've now set it up into sections by themselves so installing Red Hat on OpenOS on rail um, give all of the instructions for that in one section um, you don't need to flip around into any of the other points inside of it um, and also for did that for Debian and for Windows um, put in uh, advanced options in there to describe how those components of OpenOS are you know things that can be additionally configured outside of the box for more advanced uh, installations. Um, kind of the 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 overall idea here was let's put together just a a very minimal set of instructions for people to do an install to get up and going for doing you know initial test you know or, or running on their home network or you know proof of concept kind of uh, installation. And then, you know, as, as you read through the docs, you can find other additional advanced features that you might want to take a look at and, and, and use in there. Um, but uh, that's pretty much how it goes now. So all, everything as a, as a top level section is something part of open mess and that's pretty much it. That's all I really need to share. I don't have a question, I just want to say yay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, um, this is probably a more generic question, but on the wiki there is a page about sizing OpenNMS, a uh, guide for performance and stuff like that. Is that going to move into the installation guide? It's one of the questions we always get asked is, you know, what's a big, small, medium or small system and how, how, do, we, uh, how do we size a system? I can't really answer that, but uh, you know, I, I as part of our thinking about the documentation was, you know, we've we've got the installation guide now. Let's kind of keep it minimal to just doing a basic installation and stuff. If people need further information, they can go read through the administrator's guide, which has been pared down. So that's. Uh, the expectation there is, is that that will be more strictly in line with just doing specific tasks inside OpenMS and then you'll have the the uh, there'll be a big reference guide which contains all of the sec would contain the sections on how if I want to configure the HTTP monitor specifically it'll tell tell about what to do for that one and for the other components in, in OpenMS. So kind of kind of leading more of that kind of a, a, a idea for it. So um, specifically to address the performance tuning aspects of it, you know, I don't think we've got a document specifically set up for that, but you know, there's always the option of, of creating one I, I like that. I think documentation that shouldn't be, it's, because that's some, somewhat subjective for one, two, it's it's not very static, right? Um, I think those are two things that we kind of were using as gatekeepers for what should go into the docs. Um, it's because it's like depends. Each use case is different. Yeah. It's like I mean, the, it's the guidelines like, though. That's what's it's it is guidelines, yeah. so it is general. But it's hard to say like uh, with this kind of hardware, you can monitor like ten nodes or one hundred nodes because it's like one nexus is equivalent to two thousand servers. Yeah. Right. I I, th right. I think it's you know, important to have. I just don't know that the docs we want something that's you know fairly static, something that's exactly. not something that anybody can argue about. You know, um, mm -hmm. that's my opinion. Yeah. But that was kind of what we talked about the docs meeting was you know the static was was the major factor. But maybe some guidelines on like how to tell when your current size is too small. Uh, that might be even more important yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I think in each case, you know, like say you know, your IOPS are out of control or your CPU is out of control or whatever. So that's what you do. Actually that qualifies for like what uh, Jessica was spending sort of like kind of blogs. So you can have like specific use cases for like 
big installation and stuff like that. Yeah. With example, because not saying like I monitor this amount of interface of this amount of no. Maybe you take some real lightweight guidelines? You know, just yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the majority of users of OpenNMS don't have a huge network. Right. So it's like, you know, what, <clears throat> you know, to, to have a realistic system against an enterprise of, you know, two, three hundred nodes, what what would we think? Yeah. If a realistic system against, you know, a, a system, you know three a thousand nodes, what do we think? Oh. And then anything beyond that, yeah, okay, yeah. you've got lots of... Well, the, the other thing, we're looking at the installation guide as a prereq to a getting started guide, right? Yeah. Right. And so, and so the thought is, is that really, Part of the, the, the getting started guide is right, you know, about getting somebody a flavor of what OpenMS is, not giving them the whole picture necessarily, but you know, tackle like use case number one, which might be, hey, I've got a bunch of crap around my house that I want to monitor. You yeah. Know, um, you know, it's like you know, Taurus starts off training with events, and I and I go, well, I mean, people will just they don't need to understand an event to get a, to get what the value is in OpenMS, right? I mean, those who understand events probably see the value in OpenMS pretty quick without. But yeah, so I mean, an example is you know I've, I've put added in a next steps section there to kind of direct people where they want may want to look for more information after that. So you know, having the getting started guide, which would go into more details on you know how to do some of the ba you know initial basic setup and stuff. The, the and then Crocker, you know, do X, Y, and Z. Woo! You got what matters? You know that kind of thing. Give, give, I mean, I think, I think what we said with the goal was, you know, somebody in a, in a few, in a, in a short amount of time could come out and say, I did it. You know, that was the goal. Which, I'm still working on the game survey. Yeah. <laughs> Not showing it today. Yeah, but anyways, thanks for letting me share.